luxury market update on the Pacific side, my side, the Kavira side. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Cabo San Lucas, you have the Pacific and then you have the Sea of Cortez. So some properties in Pedregal are on the Sea of Cortez side and then others are on the Pacific side. Now, of course, everything in San Jose and on the corridor, that's all on the Sea of Cortez side. It would go Pedregal, then it would go Kivira, then it would go Diamante, then it would go Rancho San Lucas, and then it would go Rolling Hills. And Rolling Hills is a new development, but actually I just went out there and viewed some properties and the land there is very inexpensive and you can get a lot, a lot, a lot of house for a very reasonable amount of money. 1.3, it gets you a lot of house. And myself, I would pick Rolling Hills over Rancho San Lucas any day of the week. Now, of course, they're not gonna have the golf course, things like that, but it's just a short little bit away, okay? And really, we're gonna start up at about $20 million, and we're gonna go down almost to half a million bucks. This is the most expensive property currently on the Pacific side. This is six beds, basically 35,000 square feet. This is massive. This is gonna be in Diamante at the beach estates. Obviously, this has to be directly in front of the ocean. Sand as, as close as you can get. Now, these are, of course, renders. So let's move on. Okay, we've got St. Regis. There's actually only a few of these left. Believe it or not, all the celebrities have been buying these up. I can't say who. I've been told not to say who. Let's just say I have some friends. The blonde hot one who doesn't want me to say who bought over there. So I can't say that. Jeff Rasson. Yes. Anyways, six beds, 17,000 square feet. And if you look at these, we wouldn't check these out. This pool here, this is bigger than the pool at most resorts like two lap poles put together maybe. And when I was looking through these pictures here, I was thinking that this was the lobby. This is not the lobby, it's the actual house. This is the actual villa. And here's the thing, like if you want a luxury property, I'm talking like the top, top of the line, the only thing that, that compares to St. Regis is your Chilino Bay, you've got the Ritz Carlton, like Montage. I mean, that's pretty much it. But when you got those three, what do those three have in common? The freeway, the carretera, the thing that I hate the most. One of the reasons why I love Kavira. What does this have? What are you hearing? Like my boy Joe says. Worked this hard and you got this luxury property now. At the end of the day, you're sitting on your terrace, you're enjoying a nice drink, right? Here, what do you hear? You hear the waves crashing in, into the beach, right? You're sitting at Montage in their residence. What do you hear? I asked them, I said to the owners, I go, what do you hear, what do you hear? I hear the highway, I hear the cars. <laughs> you spend all that money and all you hear is cars. In my opinion, for a luxury, luxury community, you're gonna have the most ROI here because it's got room to run. We've got another four or five years before, you know, we peaked out. So now is definitely the time. This property here in Diamante, 29 Crystal Beach Estate, basically 22,000 square feet. This is a brand new property. It was just built, AC square feet, right under 10,000, seven bedrooms, seven full baths. So that means every single bath is going to have its own ensuite, two half baths, three garage stalls, two carports. Of course, it's a master plan. Marble on the ceilings, indirect lighting, or is it like gold? Another friend of mine, a developer from Carinzia, does really amazing ceilings, and even he would be impressed with this. And he is never impressed with anything. <laughs> to be honest. And when you look at this villa versus the other villas in this price range, it's almost a joke. It might be quite a bit underpriced. So the only thing that scares me right here is this shot right here. Obviously, we're not the front row, right? So we've got other properties going in front of us. So we're going to lose something. Maybe that has a little something to do with the price, possibly. But who cares? <laughs> I mean, that, you know, some people want to be right in front of the ocean. But at nighttime, it's just black. Like, I prefer, for example, like Villa Besame, where you're kind of up a little bit and then you're looking down. At nighttime, you've got all the beautiful lights from the houses below you. Whereas if you're front row, again, it's just black. What do you guys like better? Directly in front of the ocean? Or do you guys like a little ambiance, a little romantic lighting? This, of course, is in Diamante. And you guys know I love Kavira. Nobody has more amenities than we do here in Kavira. We have six resorts and nobody else has that. Not Diamante, not Rancho, not Palmilla, not Carencia. Kavira, we have the most amenities of any luxury community. And your boy likes pools and margaritas. If you are a golfer, if you're a golf fanatic, a lot of hardcore golfers 
really prefer Diamante. You know, the pricing over there is quite a bit higher. I think I might do a video like on a, you know, Diamante versus Kavira kind of thing. Because again, like for me, I hate the Carretera. One of the reasons why I like Kavira is because I can drive from downtown Cabo to my home in eight minutes and I'll have to drive on the Carretera. But if you're the type of person that just likes to stay in your house or in your mansion, I should say, have people bring you things, okay, Diamante is great. So tell me, what is the best golf course in all of Cabo? not just Cabo San Lucas and San Jose. Put it in the comments. Let's see who's the best. This property was built in 2017. And if you look at the difference, almost the same size, almost the same everything, but the style. The other property is really ahead of its time, I would say. And this property was maybe a little bit behind its time. Still a gorgeous property. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And of course they have this, the giant lagoon. I believe it's the biggest pool in all of Cabo San Lucas. Tennis, pickleball, basketball, bar. Okay, here we've got Pescadero, and this is gonna be like off-grid living. So this big giant house, mansion, is gonna be ran mostly on solar and generators. You can see this is a little dated, I'm gonna guess 2016 would be my guess. Beautiful house, it just needs a little facelift modern furniture, seven beds, uh, 14,472 square feet, total AC, 84,000, it's a massive house. Anyways, let's move on. We're at a cheaper price, bigger, that means clean, drinkable water. You have the best electricity, you know, access to the Kavira golf course, and these are custom homes. I've actually seen one of these properties where they had a full size theater under the house. I'm not talking a little theater room like, like I have here in my studio, I'm talking a full on theater that they put under the villa. This property has been used in a number of music videos. Actually, Ali Man, if you don't know who Ali Man is, he is the best rapper in Mexico and happens to be from Carlos and Lucas. And he just filmed a video there as well. And that's because it's so spectacular. I mean, the view is amazing. It's a, so if anybody would like to view these properties, or this property in particular, I most definitely can show you these. Okay, now this is one of the last condos at St. Regis, and I believe it's this one. So at 5M and you're getting the fourth level, that's pretty damn good. If you're looking at the that other St. Regis, the big bad boy here, celebrities are, are buying these up. So Villa, Bessemi, Bessemi, Bessemi mucho. Como se fue esta noche, la última vez. I love this house. So what's funny about this house is the team and I, we view a ton of different properties. Coronado, Perincias, Palmilla. We view so many different properties and we always say, did you like uh, that or Besame? And everybody always says, not Besame. Besame is the best every single person on my team. It's because it's unique. There's nothing like it. Whereas, for example, Carincia, Coronado, Kivira, you know, a few different shapes and sizes, but they're cookie cutter. Let's be honest. I mean, even like, like Diamantes. This house is extremely unique. We're talking four levels with an elevator. You put 200K into this, it's an $8 million house, and that's a fact. Now, some people don't know how to spend money here in Cabo San Lucas, or they spend too much, but like myself, if I put 200 into this, I could flip this for eight. That's a fact. 70 foot lap pool, it's got the jacuzzi there, it's got the children's part in front. Every single room has its own ensuite. The back here with the fire pit. I've had some really cool events here. I did an open house here with, I'll put a link to it, but we had, well, let's just say 300 people there. It was pretty incredible guess who i had view this property nfl superstar just gets paid his bonus he's on break no training for a while the biggest human i've ever seen in my life we're talking six foot seven six foot eight 400 pounds plus i meet him i'm shaking his hand like i'm a little baby asian child this is the biggest human i've ever seen in my life he wants to view the property in fact he wants to buy the property but guess what I can't show it because it's always rented. Property rental service would not let me show the property. Ah. Needless to say, I was a little bit down that day. I had even offered them $500 and a bottle of Don Julio 1942 for five minutes of their time, which they gracefully, not so gracefully declined. At any rate, um, 
boom, you drive into your, your parking spot. You've got the elevator right there. So you take your bags and your groceries, you throw them in the elevator and those take it up right to the kitchen. So boom, you can drop off your groceries right there. You don't have to carry them up the stairs. And then guess where else the elevator goes? It goes right upstairs to the principal closet. So you can take your bags out and put your clothes there. And yes, of course, we have his and hers full walk-in closets. We have his and her sinks. And we've got some other really cool secrets too. You've got the casita on the left, which is was done only a year and a half ago. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the casita really gives you an idea of what the rest of the property would look like with a little bit of paint and just um, you know a couple little things. Actually, what the owner does now is sometimes she'll stay in the casita and then rent the villa. And the villa brings in about 500K gross a year, pulling in a lot of cash with this thing as a rental. A lot of that cash goes to the rental company, which is about a buck 50 a year. Uh, so of course they don't want to sell an auto here. This is pre-construction. This was one of the last actually really good locations. So you see here how you come up, you come in through the entrance here, you go up and you, you see the park here behind you. So we're basically right here. So we have a great view, we're on the upper side and then there's nobody behind you. What I don't like are these properties in the middle here. They're all boxed in. Uh, not only that, the owners bought all of the upgrades. Every upgrade that you can think of, they bought. The owner is actually a good friend of mine and he doesn't cheap out on anything. If there's an upgrade on something, he is taking it. And that's just the kind of guy he is. Of course, you get access to the Kibera Golf Course, to the, you know, the six resorts. Coronado is, you know, just one level, which to find a four bed, one level, it's next to impossible. So all of the upgrades, we've got the bar with the granite countertop. Anyways, we, we did the hot tub, we did the fire pit, we did the fountain, master bathroom with the outdoor shower, we did, we did the corner, sliding door in the master, the pool, obviously we've got a heater in the pool. If you wanna get in, this is a transfer of rights. I need 1.3 million bucks. We do a transfer of rights. You take over the payments. You gotta put 50% uh, down, which is like another one big payment and a half, I think, 10 years. 7.5% interest. And if you want all of the details, just send me a message and I can get those to you, give you exactly all the details. So you're lower right now than the developer financing. So, and if you're a real estate agent, you know your boy's got a bonus for you. Always got those bonuses. Basically on all my properties, I have uh, bonuses. Coppola Villa 14. This is one of the last Alvar models that is currently available. This property has a pool as well as a sauna, four bedrooms, total square feet, 3,381. AC right at 2,500 square feet. You've got your spot for your golf cart. You know, you've got your spot for your car. Really is a beautiful property from the rooftop. We've got a nice jacuzzi. So you're getting that ocean view, but you're also getting the city view in the night. Really a nice property here. We've got the pool here in the back. You've got your outside barbecue built in with the Weber. You got the TV outside, so we're watching some sports. Inside is the biggest layout in all of Kupala. This property is not going to be sold with the furniture. We're taking actually all the furniture out. We're gonna have it painted. We're gonna paint it white. Makes all the difference in the world. And it's gonna be just a fresh canvas for somebody to come in and do your furniture. And I actually have a guy who does furniture. So I can get you guys a furniture package for this property for about 30K. So really depending on your budget, you know, we can do something for you guys. And then you guys can choose and you know do everything the way you want it done. Pickleball every morning here. Of course, you're getting the 20% discount. All the restaurants, the resorts under the Kibera. Of course, you're getting access now to the golf course. It's around a buck 90 for you and three friends. All you can drink. One of the most beautiful golf courses in the world. This is that par three that everyone loves where you're kind of going across the uh, ocean there. Theater room there. I mean, just in Kopala alone, we have seven pools. I thought it was six. I counted again. If you count the kiddie pools, it's seven. I got Pacific Bay, 1B. We're ready to sell this. We're going to finance this too. I need 650 down. We'll do the balance five years, seven and a half percent. Let's get it done. This property was just repainted, was just remodeled. Brand new furniture from Ashley. And this property actually has the pool where you can walk right out. It feels like it's a private pool. And that's because kind of everybody else has to go down the elevator, walk to the front, use it. Whereas you just have to walk right out your front door and jump in the pool. My that has financing. You can look on MLS. There's 10 of them and all 10 of them are mine. This is not actually on the Pacific side, but I was going to throw it in here just because it is a cool property, 650K. And this is in Mystique corner unit. The view at nighttime on this guys is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, just gorgeous. Hit up my boy Edgar if you guys want to view this property. And you can see that this is a, a newer style because they did do some 
indirect lighting and things like that. Turnkey, everything you see is what you get. We need to sell this now, guys. 350 down, and then we do a transfer of rights. You take over the 10-year financing. I think we're locked in at like 6.7%. So that payment comes out to nothing. And the location of this property is as good as it gets. Why, BK? Why is it so good? Well, let me tell you why. So not only do you get the same amenities that the people in Alvar get for $6 million or, you know, the houses in Copala for $2 million, or the Coronados for four million. Nope, yeah, you get the exact same amenities, but you've also got three of your own pools inside my villa, and you're gonna be looking long ways over the pool. We're 500, there's six other properties, the exact same property as this, that are right at 700. I love each and every single one of you guys. Mom, dad, I love you guys. Sorry that I work too much, and I never get to talk to any of you, but I do love you. See you on the next video.